Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this lesson, we'll see resistors in parallel. I will explain the characteristics of resistors in parallel and use examples to help you understand them better. In case you missed our lesson on resistors in series, please don't hesitate to check the description below where we've placed a link to that lesson. That said, let's get into class. Now, here is a unique example of resistors in parallel. It's a two. We have two resistors in parallel. Now, if the voltage V here is applied across this resistor, it will supply a current I. Now, current I will flow through this link. On getting to this node, current I will divide into I1 and I2. Now, at that node, we will observe that current I is the same thing as I1 plus I2. Now, the voltage across this resistor is going to be V volt and the voltage across R2 also is going to be V volt. That is, the same voltage runs across both resistors when they are connected in parallel. Now, the total resistors, the total resistors, now the total resistance in this circuit is going to be RT. Now, let's see how it works. If I is equals to I1 plus I2, we know that V from Ohm's law is equals to IR, which implies that I is the same thing as V over R. Now, so that if I is equals to I1 plus I2, now my V over R total is the same thing as in place of I1, I have V over R1 plus in place of R2, I have V over R2. Here's V. Now, I can now bring out my V here. If this becomes 1 over RT, is the same thing as V out, I have 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Obviously, let's multiply both sides by 1 over V. So, multiplying this side by 1 over V, you multiply this side also by what? 1 over V. V cancels V. V also cancels V. Then, I am left with... 1 over RT, which is equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Now, let's take an LCM. 1 over RT, obviously, will be equals to R1, R2. R1 and R1, R2, I'll be left with R2. R2 times 1, that'll be R2 plus R2 in R1, R2, I'll be left with what? R1. Now, having RT, I can now... Look at it, invert both sides or take an inverse of both sides so that my RT now will be the same thing as R1, R2 over R2 plus R1. Now, this is the basics on how to calculate the, the effective resistance for resistance in parallel. This is just a two case. Here, you can have a case where you have three resistance or three resistors rather in parallel, something like this. If I have this. Now, these are three resistors connected in parallel. Here is R1, R2, and here is R3. It's just the same procedure. Now, let's take some examples to help us understand this better. Now, our first example is a two resistor still connected in parallel. Now, the first example says the two resistors of resistance 3 and 6 are connected in parallel across a battery having a voltage of 12 volts. Determine the total circuit resistance and the current flowing in the 3 ohms resistor. Now, if you look at this carefully, if I have 12 volts across this point, that means I have 12 volts across each of the resistors. The, my first question says I should determine the total circuit resistor. So that for question A, my 1 over RT will be equals to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, which is the same thing as 1 over 6 plus 1 over so that my 1 over RT now will be the same thing as take the LCM. Here the LCM is 6. 6 in 6 is 1 times 1, that's 1. Plus 3 in 6, that's 2 times 2, that's 2. That becomes 3 over 6. Now we can now take the reverse of both sides so that RT now will now be equal to 6 over 3, which is equal to 2 ohms. So the cumulative resistance or the total resistance 
for this circuit is 2 ohms. Now, question B now says I should calculate the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor, that is the current in this loop. Now, the current flowing in this 3 ohm resistor will now be the same thing as, remember that our I now is given as V over R. Our V is 12 and our R is 3, so that I now be equal to 12 over 3, which is equal to 4 amps. That's 4 amps. So a current of 4 amps will flow through the 3 ohms resistor. Let's take a second example. Now this is a second example and for our second example is a case of a 3 ohms of a 3 resistor connected in parallel. Now for the circuit shown below, determine the reading on the ammeter. Here is the ammeter here. That is, we are to determine the reading of the current that will flow through this link. Let's call this I1. Now let's call the current on this link I2 and let's call the current on this link I3. Now the total current flowing into this node is 11 amps. So that my 11 amps is the same thing as I1 plus I2 plus I3. That is, is the same thing as, okay, let's, let's call this equation. Let's call this equation 1. Let's just leave this as equation 1 first. Now we have to determine the reading on the ammeter. Now, from this circuit, know that I3 is the same thing as 8. We know I3 is the same thing as 8 amps. So that the voltage across each of the resistor is the same. And that voltage can be gotten from 8 amps, that's I3, times 5 ohms. That's 8 amps times 5 ohms, which will be equal to 40 volts. So from here, if the voltage across them, that is the voltage V here, is the same thing as 40 volts. This 40, please. Now, if this voltage is 40 volts, then I can now easily determine the reading on that ammeter because my I1 times 20 ohms will be the same thing as 40 volts. So that I1 now will be the same thing as 40 over 20, which is equal to 2 amps. Now the second question says we should determine the value of the resistor R2. Now that's quite easy now because we've gotten that 11 is equal to I1 from equation 1 plus I2 plus I3. So my 11 now I can equate it to be the same that I1 is 2, I2 is unknown, I2 plus I3 is 8 which is equal to 10 plus I2. So that 11 now minus 10 will be the same thing as what? I2, which is equals to 1 amp. So if my current here is 1 amp, and we've gotten that the voltage here is 40, obviously my R2, which is equals to V over I2, should be the same thing as 40, which is the total voltage over 1, which is equals to 40. So I'll have 40 ohms resistor connected as R2. Now, with this, we have come, we've seen how to solve, with this, we've seen how to treat resistors in parallel. Now, thank you for staying with us, and we'll see you in our next lesson.